Thank you everyone. Thank you for joining us on today's episode of Straight Talk with Bennett. My name is Bennett Wanko. Today we'll be talking to one of the Southeast best comedian, Obuefi MC Ago Talk. He will be joining us shortly after the short break. We're on set to meet him. One of the best comedians in Southeast Nigeria in terms of local content in Igbo, local language in Igbo. And over the years, you've managed to achieve um, for yourself a, a remarkable success. You've managed to um, place yourself amongst the best entertainers in Southeast Nigeria. Moving back to where you started, can you give us a highlight of how it all started? Um. It all started 2003. 2003, okay. When I... That's over 10 years ago. Yeah. Wow. More than 10. More than 10 years. When I started going for open bars events. Wow. Like going to perform in, in uh, uh, restaurants, mm -hmm. like uh, entertainment places. Okay. Then I was... Um, Miming other people's joke okay. as a comedian then. Okay. Uh, I was a professional dancer then. Okay. You were a dancer too? So, yes. Yeah, so wow. I started with dancing. Okay. And along the line, um, when I would tell my people I'm going for a show, okay. I will come back empty handed. <laughs> so, you know, uh, as an Igbo man and lived in a family, an Igbo family, yeah, yeah. you know, money is one of the things that um, we always keep that. No matter what, you have to make money. Make money yeah. So, they were telling me that this thing you are doing, nothing is coming out from it. You have to stop. Mm -hmm. So, I went to one of my friend's house. And we watched, um, he, he got the CD plate of uh, Night of a Thousand Lives. Okay. So, I was, uh, when we were seeing the performances of the artist there, uh, mm -hmm. I now fell in love with I Could Die. I Could Die. So, uh, after seeing his performances, I crammed everything, all the jokes he cracked, yes. I crammed it. And the next day, it happens that one of the guys that was there with us was playing a gig in an event center. So he said, okay, if you can do, such, if you can do something like this, mm -hmm. I will put you in that gig. Mm -hmm. So I now performed in a place called Appetit has been wrong. Okay. Then, after that performance, people started liking me because Back then, nobody knew what comedy was all about yes. at our own time. Okay. You know, our okay. locality, nobody knew what is comedy. Nobody okay. knew that there are people that hold the mic and talk Cause and you laugh. Magic, yeah. So that was how I started venturing into comedy. And at 2006, 2007, I started handling uh, an event center mm. by myself. Wow. So that was where I got the name, I Could Talk. Okay, okay. So, uh, as things were unfolding, years were unfolding, okay. 2010, I graduated from miming people's joke to creating one or two jokes from my own side. Okay. Now, and I started get, having my own joke. Okay. Then from 2010, I became professional. Okay. Handling events, yeah. doing one or two shows. Okay. Then, um, 2012, it manifested big. Okay. You know, I started involving in going to other people's show, 
mm-hmm. being featured in other people's show, big shows, big, big names, mm-hmm. uh, from 2012 um, uh, to 2018. Mm-hmm. I would say 2018 was the year the grace found me <laughs> that everything opened up. Out. Okay. You know, okay. the name you are hearing today, Obuefi Obuefi, mm-hmm. was crafted out 2018 from my skits. Wow. But before then, I have been doing, I have been a stand-up comedian. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have been into movie also mm-hmm. before then. So I have been into entertainment for a long time. Okay. So um, I'm curious. A lot of people uh, seems to talk about diversification. Um, you know, language is very powerful. Language, if you have the ability to to communicate to people some some things, meanings of or meanings of certain things, they tend to understand. Because language, if if for example, people are learning Chinese now in Nigeria, yes. people are de- even taking it seriously professionally. Yes. You seem to have chosen Igbo as your trademark. Yes. Why Igbo language? Yes, um, all those years that I've been in the industry, I've been using Pidgin English. Okay. As you can see, I believe you'll be surprised that I'm even speaking English. English now. Yeah. Because many people thought that he's just Igbo English. comedian, okay. he just uses his dialect. Okay. I've been using Pidgin English because of what? Because of the market. Okay. Yeah. If you are not into Pidgin English, if you are not using, even if you speak English, Queen's English, mm. you won't sell. Yes, true. But if you're using Pidgin English, because the worry people came in and tried to make it their thing, thing. comedy in Nigeria, if you're not from Wari, you're, yeah, you're nobody. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, to the extent that some Igbo people that are into comedy are, using are claiming to be <laughs> warriors, okay. warfarians, okay. just to sell in the market. Okay, okay. So basically it's about the audience. It's about the audience. Okay, okay. 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 Now, me coming in with, with, with my dialect, Igbo, I have now seen that the market has grown big to the extent that no matter where you're from, you can still sell. Yes. Once you have the content yes, yes. that suits your language. Okay. Like you said now, people are now learning Chinese. Because of what? The Chinese has the content. Okay. Okay. If they don't have the content, you won't bother of going to learn Chinese. That's true, exactly. Yeah, there are times people we are speaking, yo, man, you know <laughs> what I'm saying, man? Okay. Because of what? The people they are trying to imitate or take their language has the content of what they want. Okay. There was a time people were speaking England English. Yes, All these things is because of what? Content. The content. Okay. Now, I have come to understand that the market is now big and people need new things. Okay. We already used to the Pigeon English, mm-hmm. Worry Pigeon English. So we need new things. Yeah. And it happens that once you have a content and you have the market there, yeah, no matter what you bring from whichever language you bring it out, it will sell. Okay, okay, okay. Then we will give, go for a short break now. Welcome back to Straight Talk Infinite. We've been speaking with a um, comedian, Obuefi MC I talk. Will talk, one of the best Southeast comedians, even in Nigeria, for me, because I believe I've seen so far you've, you've gained, and this will bring me to my next question, you've gained um, viewership and followership on social media, especially on Instagram. Yes. Now, how would you say Instagram or social media has helped your career? Well, that is the bone of contention. That is really what got me to where I am today. Okay. 
and I believe um, times is changing. Okay. People are changing. Yeah. The world is changing as well. Okay. The earlier people understand the power of social media, I think the better for them in every aspect of life. Okay. Because even in business, as a businessman, I know how far social media has done good to my business okay. than before. Okay. Social media really helped me. In fact, social media was the thing that brought me out. Okay. The Obwefi you're hearing today is the product of social media. Okay. I go talk is a product of stand-up coming. Okay. okay. You, you get it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me not to just change from being that stand-up comedian to a skit maker, uh -huh. I have to bring the names together. Uh -huh. Obuefi I go talk. Okay. You know Obuefi in Igbo land is a uh, title. Title, yeah. Yes. So when a title comes, the names name comes, comes also. Title, so yeah. when you call me Obuefi, remember my name is I go talk. You now say Obuefi I go talk. So social media really took me far really made me known to the world. Many people call me from America, Asia, from Europe, from every part of the world, just to say thank you very much, we are seeing your work. Mm -hmm. And I'll be surprised, oh, we even have people that understand okay. Zibo in these countries in the world. So, mm -hmm. to show you how far social media will take you to. Now, these days, it doesn't mean how long you have been in the industry, what you have done in the industry, it is now in, in your Trend, hands. Trends. Just do it and let us see, see it. it. Yes, Once you're good at it, people will buy your market. That's true. There is one question I need to ask you. It's, it's in, I've asked it most of people that have been on my talk show. Success, they say, is, is, um, is a very big thing. To achieve success is not easy. But it seems like some, of, some people, especially entertainers, who have managed to achieve success, it doesn't last with them. You tend to see someone like few years ago begin to see some actors comedians and the rest of them coming out to seek for funds from the public when they get you does it mean that it's more difficult to manage success than to get it you know sometimes people people um, combine Sussex and fame okay they are two different things okay that you're famous doesn't mean you're successful okay Wow, that's and when it comes to entertainment, right. there are many people that has fame, but they are not successful. Okay. There are many people that has name, but they are paid less for the content they create. Okay. You know, the industry, the Nigerian entertainment industry, is not structured well that any content you bring out there is supposed to be putting food on your table. Okay. Now you can do anything, and somebody from somewhere can just. Um, uh, 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 pirates your job and and he's making money while you the content creator you are there sitting down with that money. Okay. There is a difference between fame and success. Like I always tell them, when the fame is coming, make sure to manage it. That is why it is called showbiz. Most of us show you, but we don't know how the business, business part of business. it. Okay. You understand? Okay. There are many talented people out there that are showing you what they have, but they don't know how to turn what they have into business. business. Okay. Bringing in profit. Okay. That is why you see most of them that has the name, that have been known everywhere. At the end of the day, they'll come out on social media, start seeking for funds for medical uh, assistance. assistance. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because they didn't channel their craft well. Okay. They didn't channel it well. Okay. Like me, I always tell them, make sure as you are being famous, and making the money you're making from being famous, that you are invested. I am a businessman. Mm -hmm. I don't think with my fame that I can ever go bankrupt. Oh. <laughs> you understand? Okay. Because before the fame, I was already in, in the business, business of business. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Do you get that okay. now? So I already know how to make one naira to become two naira, yeah. and already know how to make what I say to give me money. Okay. Okay. So I don't think in any way, if, if the fame comes and go because nobody lasts forever, okay. you have your time to be the yeah. champion, you go, you have your reign, you reign and you go, another person comes up, nobody will be on top forever. Okay. So at the moment you are reigning as a king, make sure that your, your, your uh, uh, how will I put it, 
that point, point. when you are retiring mm. as a king, you have a plan. You still have something that will sustain you. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. We'll take another quick break. We'll come back. We'll end it. Final question. Um, speaking of entertainment, uh, you mentioned earlier that you have other business you are doing apart from entertainment. So, what are you currently working on, entertainment-wise? Okay, um, I'm working on my production. Okay, it's um, a TV series. Okay, a wavy comedy. Wavy okay. comedy. So, uh, which by the special grace of God will be on multi choice. Multi choice. Yes. As just TV. Yes. Okay. So, um, uh, it's it's a big one. Okay. which I want to use the platform because many people are saying um, the Eastern comedians are not united, mm -hmm. that they don't see how Lagos people does it, mm -hmm. that they bring themselves together to do so. And I, 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 on the second thought, I've come to realize that it seems like we are all separated. Individual, one man show. One thing. man show. Okay. So I'm using this um, uh, um, TV series to bring everybody, everybody together. together. Okay. I am trying to give them a platform. Okay. They are all names that are known in the industry, industry already. Yeah. They are doing well for themselves. Mm. But I think giving them this platform will be bigger for their career and for what they are doing. Okay. 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 So that is why I'm involving the uh, faces that we already known mm. that are based here in the Southeast <laughs> to come together and do this with me together. So, and it's coming out big, very, very big. Mm -hmm. it's, it's something that um, at the end of the day, people will be saying, wow, so we can have something it's like this from the house. East. You know, they, they, they always give us that term, local, understand? Mm -hmm. But I'll tell them, call me local, but give me mm -hmm. the money. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> don't yeah. don't be an international, and when it comes to financial wise, you, you, you can't challenge Same. me the local. Okay. You yeah. understand? And it doesn't mean where you're based. Okay. It doesn't matter where you're based. It doesn't matter your location. As far as you know the business and you have the content that even the internationals are looking for. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that's we've come to the end of this. Thank, Thank you. you so so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.